Around the West Lake and along the ancient Changteng River stands Hangzhou City with high life quality in the south of Yangtze River Delta. A city with over 2,000 years of history in today's rapidly developing globalization is gradually known by the international society. In 2016, Hangzhou City of China hosts the 10th G20 Leaders Summit. It gives this oriental pearl a great opportunity to shine in the center of world stage. It is honor and it is future. To celebrate the success of G20 Summit, Hangzhou China Global Arts Agenda 2016 will be held on October 11th to 23rd, 2016 in Exhibition Center in Hangzhou Citizen Center. The exhibition is sponsored by Changjiang International Art Museum, co-organized by Zhejiang Province International Art Exchange Association, Hangzhou Bureau of Culture, Broadcasting, Television, Press and Publication, Hangzhou Public Library, Hangzhou Zhemi Calligraphy and Painting Institute, and curated by Ru Ilsen, the chairman of South Korea International Culture and Art Association, and Zhang Xiangjong, the curator of Changjiang International Art Museum. Many artists from China and abroad act as the committee's senior art consultants, such as Han Tianheng, deputy director of Xiling Seal Engraver Society, Zhang Husheng, director of Zhejiang Painting Art Institute Committee, former head of Zhejiang Painting Institute, Yang Jianxin, chairman of Jiajiang Culture and Art Exchange Association, former director of Zhejiang Provincial Department of Culture, Remy Aaron, chairman of French Artists Association, Wu Minchuan, winner of Singapore Culture Award, Ma Zelin, art director of European Contemporary Art Editorial Department, in this exhibition, more than 70 artists from 22 countries will present more than 100 pieces of works. Countries including Australia, Argentina, Brazil, Britain, Canada, China, Egypt, France, Germany, Italy, India, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Sweden, Singapore, South Africa, Turkey, and USA. All of the works reflect the theme of peace, freedom, humanity, environmental protection, and demonstrate the humanistic concern of the artists from each country. After the G20 summit finished, the graceful and beautiful West Lake sent away the G20 guests, but then welcomes an art summit. On the platform of Hangzhou China Global Arts Agenda 2016, all of the artists can fully enjoy rich and different spiritual experiences. The distinctive cultures of each country and their shared art language will compose a common song. Bring magnificent colors to Hangzhou in this golden season. Looking back on June 30th, 2015, the Belt and Road, first Changjiang International Art Exchange exhibition, still remains fresh on our mind. Artists from 12 countries and districts attended that exhibition, and its high quality and large scale surprised Hangzhou people. One year later, the Jiefang Road Exhibition Hall of Qianjiang International Art Museum collection exhibition was open not long ago. The exhibited Chinese traditional painting, calligraphy, oil painting, and watercolor painting are like cool breeze slowly blowing to the busy business zone and beautified the office building in hot summer days. Jiefang Road Exhibition Hall of Qianjiang International Art Museum is open for the public free of charge and persists in popularizing the art education for the public in ways of public lecture, interest salon, calligraphy, and painting training, etc. In both Xixing Pavilion and Jiefang Road Exhibition Hall, 
curator John Xiong Zhang leads all the colleagues with great enthusiasm and persistence to culture and art exchange, ventures to the unknown and bravely marches forward, hoping to manage well this new privately operated art gallery. The one week event intoxicates the foreign guests and makes them unwilling to leave. The passion, beauty, and elegance of Hangzhou people will make everyone more looking forward to getting together in the next annual exhibition. The brimming waves delight the eyes on a sunny day. The dimming hills present rare view in a rainy haze. West Lake may be compared to the Lady of the West, whether she is richly adorned or plainly dressed. Praising West Lake in the rain, Chu Si Song Dynasty. As a bridge connecting cultures and arts between China and the rest of the world, Changjiang International Art Museum takes delight in sharing resources and making friends with many overseas art institute and artists. Let us honestly accompany each other and create a better future.